everybody! It's raining outside! Like it's raining a lot, so you're probably gonna hear some rain in this video. But I kinda like that. I think it sounds nice, like I should take a nap. Oh! Oh, I have to make a video! I can't sleep! Oh, silly Miss Abby! Well, before I fall asleep again, I think we should read our Bible story so we can get our video moving. Once, there was a man with crippled and crooked legs. His legs were so weak that he couldn't get out of bed to go to work. He couldn't walk to visit his friends. Every day, the man's friends carried him to the temple in Jerusalem so he could sit by the gate and ask people for money. People who saw the man felt sorry for him. Sometimes they gave him money. The man could use the money to buy food or clothes. But money couldn't fix his crooked legs. One day, Peter and John went to pray at the temple. They saw the man with crooked legs sitting by the gate. Will you help me? The man asked Peter and John. Will you give me some money for food? Peter and John felt sorry for the man with crooked legs. But Peter said, we don't have any money. We don't have silver or gold. But Jesus is better than money. Jesus can give you something money can't give you. Then Peter told the man, get up and walk. Peter grabbed the man's hand and helped him stand up. Right away, the man's legs were strong and healthy. His legs weren't crooked at all. The man jumped up and walked around saying, Praise Jesus! He fixed my legs! He made me well! I thought only Jesus could perform miracles. Most of the time, you'd be right. Only Jesus can perform miracles. But there are a few stories in the Bible, right after Jesus died, where some of his apostles, his really good friends that he knew so well, they got to perform some miracles too. I wonder if it was because they were better than other people. No, we know Jesus better than that by now. He doesn't choose people because they're better or worse. He chooses people that need him. And I think Peter was only able to make that man walk because he knew he wasn't really doing it. Peter knew that he couldn't make the man walk. He just believed in Jesus that much. And the man believed in Jesus that much. And Jesus made his legs better without even having to be on the earth. That's pretty cool. The question the Bible has for us today is, what can fix a broken world? Oh man, that's a toughie. We've talked a lot in our class about how the world is broken and our hearts are broken and they don't work right. The world was broken way back when Adam and Eve forgot what God had said and listened to the bad lie that the snake told them. And ever since then, we've been living in a broken world with broken hearts. So what can fix our broken world? The Bible's answer says, some people think having enough money to buy food or clothes is all we need. But only King Jesus can fix our broken world. Jesus is better than money. Jesus is better than anything else. And that's so true! Only Jesus can fix our broken world. Our job is to wait and pray and trust. Well, now that we've finished that really good Bible story, I think it's time for calendar. Let's go see. Okay, this is our third calendar time for the week. It's our last one. So, what was yesterday's number, Miss Haley? Even though you can't see it. Let's see. 22. 22. That's two, two. Two and two. Um, so what does that make today's number? 23. 23. 23, two bundles and three left over. What is our day today, Miss Haley? Today's day is Thursday. Thursday! It's the same every week. I wonder why that is. Hmm, what 
What's our month still? April. Our month is still April, which starts with an A and then a P. A April. April. All right, ready to say our date all together, Miss Haley? Yeah. Okay. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Good job. All right, weather watcher time. Weather watcher, weather watcher, what do you see? What do you see? Tell us what the weather's like. Tell us what the weather's like, won't you? Please, won't you, please? It's raining at my house today. I wonder if it will be sunny by the time you watch this video. Hmm. So I have something really cool to show you guys today. But first we have to talk about fresh water and salt water. Why would we talk about those? Well, since we've been talking about oceans, I figured we should talk about it. Because oceans are salt water. Then what's fresh water? Fresh water is all the other water. So any water that's in a lake or a pond or a river or comes from the sky, that's all fresh water. And mostly that just means it doesn't have any salt in it. That's why we call salt salt water, because it has salt in it. And there are a lot of fish that can only swim in fresh water or only swim in salt water. So like where Miss Abby grew up, there's no salt water at all, only fresh water. So the kinds of fish that I saw were catfish and bass and bluegill. Those are all fishies that live in rivers and streams and ponds. But here in Florida, you kind of get both because you get the fishies that live in the fresh water, but you also get to see all of the fun salt water fish. But the thing I want to talk about with fresh water and salt water is this thing called density. Density is a really big word that just means how thick something is. And usually if something is not very dense, it won't hold a whole lot up. So you can't sit on it or float in it. And if something is super dense, you can put all sorts of stuff on top of it. And I have a thing to show you. I have two glasses. This one has fresh water in it. This one has salt water in it which you can make at home just by taking a glass of water and putting really a lot of salt in it. That's what I did. I also have this egg. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what happens when you put an egg in fresh water or salt water. When you put an egg in fresh water, oh, it goes right to the bottom. Interesting. I wonder what will happen when we put the same egg in the salt water. All right, here's the egg. I'm gonna try and make you see it so you know it's the same egg. I hope that worked. All right, here's our salt water. Here's the same egg, still dripping. Let's see what happens when we put it in salt water. Oh, look at that. It floats now. That's really cool. And it's also something you could try at home with mom and dad if you want to see it for yourself. But what did we learn from that? I think we learned that it's easier to float in salt water rather than in fresh water. Unless you're Miss Abby's dad. He can't float anywhere. That's part of why it's so fun to swim at the beach. It's just so easy. Okay, that was really cool. I think we should do a craft now. What about you? Let's go take a look. For today's craft, you will need coffee filters, markers, pipe cleaners, and maybe a spray bottle of water. Once you get those, color a fun design on your coffee filter with your markers. Miss Haley and I chose to spray our filters with water to make the colors run, but you don't have to. If you use water, you'll have to let it dry. We had to improvise. Once dry, take a pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and wrap it around your pinched filter.
make antenna, and then you're done. Butterflies. I just love making crafts with friends. I hope you're enjoying making the crafts at home with mommy and daddy too. But that's all I had for today, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! No, Rusty. You will barf if you drink the salt water. No. Good boy. <laughs>